Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Wednesday the 13th, and today was a gorgeous day outside. Sun was shining, a little bit of wind, just absolutely, I should say a lot of wind at times, but beautiful day, uh, started off nice and cool, warmed up nicely, I think got up in the mid-60s, something like that maybe, was a wonderful day to be out running, um, went out, had myself a beautiful run, uh, wasn't in a big hurry. Really had nowhere in particular to be in the run and had a great time. There's a, um, I don't know, like a three and a half mile loop up around the upper res that's technically a closed trail, but I run it quite often anyway. Um, it's They close it down for the winter for whatever reason. I don't really know why. I think it might be some hunting or something that goes on up there and they don't want people up there or whatever, but I go ahead and head up that way. And I decided to um, let Bruce off leash for the run today to see how he did. Um, took the shot collar with me, which I've been wanting to lay him off leash a lot this spring on the run. I just never remember the shot collar. So, being a seller, there's rarely ever anybody up there at all on that. Like, I've seen, like, two people this whole year up there on the trail. Felt pretty safe leaving him off leash, but I wanted the shot collar on him just in case he saw a squirrel or a deer and wanted to take off chasing him. My shot collar will reach up to two miles in distance, so I have plenty of time to shock his butt to get him to come back. Or if I run into some people, I need to get him over here to me, that kind of thing. So... Headed out that way, um, him off leash, he did really good, did amazingly well. I was super stoked about how great he did. Um, handful of times, had to kind of holler at him, tell him to kind of back up a little bit, slow down to kind of get a little closer to me. A um, few times he got a little carried away off and on here and there. And at one point, kind of seeing what we, he would do, um, I basically just, he turned a corner, a really a blind corner basically area. I just went and stopped right there. I take a rock on my shoe anyway, so he used that excuse. Um, stopped real quick and just waited to see what would happen because so I could see about an eighth mile, maybe a quarter mile down the trail. It would have to go up a hill and I'd be able to see him from there. Otherwise, we were completely out of sight of each other. And it was about 30 seconds and he just spun around, come flying on that corner like a bat out of hell, acting like that little kid when you were little and you have a little kid with you and you're at the mall and you tell them to stay close and they don't listen to you and they kind of wander off and then you kind of hide around the counter and the different like, you know, clothing departments and hide from and they start freaking out and can't find their parent. Uh, he had that look of just sheer abandonment in his eyes. So hung a little closer to me after that, so I felt really good there. Got back around civilization, more people again. I stopped the leash back on him, then finished the rest of the run um, on leash, which worked out just fine too. So it was really funny as we took off. Though. The funniest part of the whole day was we went take off, and there's a um, footbridge you go across, and he was just totally distracted looking to his left and ran headlong and shoulder, just smashed right into the edge of that um, bridge. And part of me... Had saw it coming, and part of me thought I should probably say something to him instead. I thought, ah, screw it. I just really wish I would have had my camera out and filmed it because I, I laughed. I actually had to wait a moment to start my watch to start running because he, was, he had me laughing so hard. So went ahead. I thought it was just hilarious. He looked back at me like I had done it, like I had thrown him into the wall. So it was kind of funny. There's a look on his face. He has such great expression for a dog. He's got just a ton of expression on his face, and it was pretty good. So other than that, um, got done... Um, before that, I went out there and stuff. Actually, had a bunch of appointments. Um, had a bunch of things that I didn't um, get a chance to get done today. I was going to get some dirt to fill my yard and stuff with. That didn't happen. Um, the skid steer, the loader the guy uses for it, is stuck down in the timber. Uh, it's too muddy to get it up out of there. So I think I might offer to take the truck down there and pull it out if it doesn't get back out by next week when I get back from my trip to Kansas City for the game and the race and then see what happens there because I can go down and tow him out of there if I need to. If not, nothing else. We'll take the tractor down there and maybe get it out. So maybe a little help that way and then get some lo dirt loaded up, which would be nice too, to go ahead and get that done and start filling more holes around my yard. So I um, went ahead from there since I wasn't in Kansas City this trip. Um, went ahead and said to heck with it. Ended up talking to my insurance agent. Had some questions about some different changes in my policy and stuff. Maybe opening up a couple new policies for some other ventures I'm wanting to do. Um, stopped by, uh, made an appointment, and saw my financial advisor guy. Uh, talked to him for quite some time. That was really interesting. It's kind of fun when you're talking to your financial advisor guy as you're trying to make some major changes. Um, move some stuff around that. And they give you a look like... That sounds crazy, and I'm like nowhere near as crazy as betting it all on black, you know. So, and I'm the kind of guy who is not opposed to taking a large chunk of money and throwing it down on a roulette table, although I prefer a poker table more than anything. So, 
went ahead, um, had a whole bunch of weird questions that he did not know the answers to. And he's like, I don't think I've ever been asked that before. So he went ahead and found those all out. Um, gave me a call this evening. Um, uh, I didn't really expect to call it that late this night, uh, this evening and stuff, but worked out as fine. I was cool with it. Um, he just didn't want to make me leave me on hold, you know, basically waiting around for tomorrow and that. So I went ahead and told him to make some changes and getting moving some stuff around and you know, all that kind of thing. So it's kind of interesting when you have somebody who's got that great of, um, customer service, I guess that's willing to just not blow you off and take the time to go ahead. And like I said, it was, it was late. It was not, it wasn't like ridiculous later. And it's probably eight, eight o'clock or so. So that kind of time frame. So not where I would have thought it would have been a time frame that like a banking type official, which is a financial advisor, not really a banker, but you wouldn't think you'd be getting a phone call at eight o'clock at night from your financial advisor. So that made me feel pretty good that that was going on. So we'll have to see what happens. Um, hopefully, I don't know, the next 10 days or so, I should know more about the moves I'm trying to make and see if it works out to my favor or not. So we'll go from there and see what happens in the whole process. So other than that, like I said, I got my run in, felt good there. Went to the grocery store, um, got my gas rebates or the little gas things through hy V. When you spend 30 bucks on Wednesday, you get 30 cents off your gas. So I went ahead and got that done and decided to buy myself some um, different flavored of the almond milk trying to do that as opposed to drinking the actual moo milk and thought I would try it. I bought a different flavor. The one I had before wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. So I thought I'd try a new one, see what I think of it. Hopefully tomorrow I'll know more when I have my cereal. So other than that, pretty much all I've got going for today. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.